Hey guys, welcome to the ninth Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use constraints. Now, a constraint is basically just something that restricts how you can move something. So, for example, if we were to use the parallel constraint right up here, that would basically just ensure that two lines are always parallel. So, if we were to just go ahead right here and create two lines, and then just make these lines parallel, no matter how we moved either one of these lines, um, they would always be parallel since we would apply the parallel constraint. So let's just go ahead right here and apply that constraint. So we're just going to want to go up here to the uh, constraint category and select this parallel constraint. And then we're just going to want to select two lines. And these two lines that we select will always be parallel. So we're just going to select this line and select this line. Now as you can see, these two lines are now parallel. So now, no matter how we move either one of these lines, they will always remain parallel. So if we just twist this line right here, we can see that it moves the other line with it so that they will always be parallel. So we just let go right there and we can see that it moved the other line as well. So now these lines are still parallel. And if we move this line, we can see that it doesn't matter the location of this because they will always be parallel. And if we ever wanted to make it so these lines aren't parallel anymore, what we can do is just right click and click show all constraints and this show all constraints will basically just show all of the constraints that have been applied so we're just going to click show all constraints right here or you could click F8 and now all of the constraints that we've applied are now selected or you can view them and this constraint right here is just defaultly applied there's nothing we can do about that we're not going to get into that today All right. So if we want to remove these constraints, we can't just click this X button. That will actually just hide the constraint. If we want to remove it, we're going to have to right click on it and click delete. And now as soon as we click delete, we can see that it's disappeared and that constraint is no longer there. So if we ever wanted to move any of these lines so that they're not parallel anymore, we can just go ahead and do that. And you can see that now these lines are not parallel and that's just because we removed that constraint. All right, and one more thing. If you have two lines, and let's just say you want um, this line to remain where it is, so you don't want this line to move, you want this line to be moved so that it's parallel to this line, what you can do is just apply this fixed constraint right here. And the fixed constraint will basically just make it so it cannot be moved or changed or anything like that. So we're just going to select this fixed constraint up here, which is like the lock symbol, and just select this line right here. And now that we've applied that constraint, we cannot move this line at all. So now when we apply this parallel constraint, we can see that it moved this line, not this line. So let's just do that again. We're going to create two lines right here. We'll create this line right here and this line down here. So let's say we don't want this one to move again. We want this one to be moved to be parallel to this one. So we're just going to apply that fixed constraint to this line since we don't want it to move and then we're going to make those lines parallel. So it doesn't matter which one we select first, this line will always move to be parallel to this line since this one is fixed. So we're just going to select this one first, I guess, and then this one. And as you can see, now these two lines are parallel. All right, and if you ever wanted to see these constraints, so you can see that they're not there, well, we just click Show All Constraints, and it just shows all those constraints that we've applied. And we can see that that fixed constraint is now there. And that just means that, again, this line cannot be moved or changed or anything like that. All right, and if we just wanted to remove that, of course, we can just right click and click delete. And now it's not there anymore. And if we wanted to hide all the constraints that now are in view, we can just right click and select hide all constraints. Now those constraints are no longer visible. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on constraints. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to get into more constraints and look at uh, more of these constraints that are up here. Alright, so see you guys.